hey 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 foodie it's your girl clenam and welcome to my channel on the menu today we have two types of gary photo one that i call the native one that is so easy to make and the other one with a little bit of clenam spot twist so without wasting your time let's dive right in So our first option is going to be the native curry photo and for that we're going to need the following ingredients so some salt some palm oil dried fish some pepper onion and of course our curry just to remember that all the ingredients and their quantities will be in the description box below so make sure you check them out ah i almost forgot and half fresh tomatoes as well so what i'm going to do is to take my onion divide into two one part i'm going to slice which we're going to use to fry the oil and the other one i'm just going to cut um roughly because i'm going to use it to grind the pepper and when it comes to the dry fish you can use some keta school boys anchovies or some kobe this was what i got from the market so yeah these are actually as salted as kobe is and i don't know how they're called but yeah i'm going to take the head off because I don't want it in my curry photo and then I'm going to take my scissors and cut it into tiny little pieces because I want to find them here and there while I'm enjoying the curry. Let us now move to the part that requires muscle strength and that is grinding the pepper. So I'm just going to add my pepper, some salt, the onion grind until it's finely grinded and then we're going to add our tomatoes what i normally do is to take out all the seeds because that makes the pepper pulpy and also because <laughs> i don't want all that work if you do not have a sangha which is the earthenware bowl <laughs> you can use a mortar or you can try to grind everything in your blender i'm using this because as i said this is a native curry photo so i'm trying to make everything as traditional as possible so now let's start frying the oil and obviously we're going to take our pan and when the oil is heated the first thing that i'm going to fry is the fish not the onions so i'm going to let the fish fry for about two to three minutes before i add my sliced onion and as you can see the head is been added but just because i wanted to release the flavor and then i'll take it out later on so at this point you have two options you can either choose to fry the grinded pepper a bit in the oil before you add your curry or you can choose to leave it in the um, asanka. I choose to leave it in the asanka because that kind of reminds me of my childhood during which we actually <laughs> ate curry photo just like the way I'm doing it in this video. So now we're going to take some warm water, add some salt to taste and then we're going to take a bowl, throw our curry in there and we're going to add the water gradually. I actually have the exact quantity of water and curry that I used and I'm going to leave it in the description box so make sure you check it out. So all you have to do is to gradually add your water and then fill it with your hands to see whether the softness is okay for you. And when you get to the desired texture, all we have to do is to just add everything together. And just like that, in less than 15 minutes, our curry photo is ready. Feel free to experiment with some smoked fish. You can use some bacon. You can use some um, tolo beef or whatever you want to try. So that is it for the first option. Let's now move on to the second option. And we're going to need the following ingredients. So some green pepper, tomatoes, pepper, scotch bonnet pepper, onion, stock cube, vegetable oil, salt um corned beef my chicken broth which is optional and my gari of course as usual all the quantities to be in the description box below so make sure you check them out now let's get the party started so what i'm going to do is to slice my ingredients so the onion the pepper which i chopped actually 
going to chop my scotch bonnet pepper as well and my tomatoes and when i'm done with all of that i'm going to go ahead and fry I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for you guys <laughs> no long things so we're going to add our vegetable oil on fire add the onion fry it for about a couple of minutes until it's caramelized and then we're going to just throw our tomatoes in there so at this point everything should be cooking on a medium to low heat and after adding the tomatoes it's going to be the turn of the scotch bonnet pepper and the stock cube and the broth as well and after cooking the whole thing for a couple of minutes i'm also going to add my corned beef and my green bell pepper after adding the green bell pepper we're going to increase the heat so everything goes faster and i also left a little bit of the onions at the beginning whilst i was frying and i'm going to add that as well together with the um, chopped bell pepper so all we have to do is to just cook for another five to ten minutes just for all the liquid to be well absorbed for the um, oil to raise on top of the stew and then we'll be ready to mix everything together with the curry so while the stew is cooking it's now time to create a chemical change and that is dissolving the salt in some warm water so after stirring and letting the salt completely dissolve in the water we are going to take our bowl add our gari and we're going to gradually add the salted water until the gari gets to the softness that we desire i'm actually going to leave the exact quantity of water and um, gari that i used uh, below in the description box so after doing that we hope at this point our stew will be ready so we can just mix everything together and go ahead with our lives look at the yumminess <laughs> i know so this should be the result after cooking your stew and now all we have to do is to put everything together stirring every now and then until everything is well mixed together and just like that voila our gari photo is ready and as you can see i sprinkled some chopped um bell pepper on top of it with some fresh tomatoes actually the tomatoes are just there to <laughs> add some color to the whole presentation and i also serve it with this um oven grill tilapia that you see and i have a recipe for that i'm going to leave that in the description box below if you care and here you have your two options on one hand you have your option for the non palm oil lovers i might say and on the other hand you have your native gary photo which takes less than i think 10 to 10 minutes or 15 minutes to make quite easy so i hope these recipes were helpful in some way and i hope um, you find them inspiring so, as usual, if you love what you saw and if you like what you see, please do not forget to support this channel by subscribing, liking, sharing, telling a friend to tell a friend, and hey, let me know what you think in the comment section below. <laughs> Till next time, to the next recipe, it's bye-bye for now.